image shown in the plate. Color plate is custom made pontic, true pontic, sanitary facing pontic or parallel pontic. So here we have pontic obviously. Pontic is that part of the FPD that replaces the missing tooth. So it could be either custom made or it could be prefabricated. Now this is already fabricated. It has a slot. It has a pin and it is already prefabricated. So custom made is out of option. That leaves us with true pontic, sanitary facing and parallel pontic. For that, let us try to understand the other options. So we have sanitary facing pontic. Now in sanitary facing pontic, sanitary means hygienic pontic. That means it is going to have a gap between the tissue and the pontic under surface. That means it has to be used only for posterior areas. Now in the image we can see an incisor or a canine. So that is an anterior tooth. So it is definitely not a sanitary facing pontic. And the design of a sanitary facing pontic is a two piece pontic. Okay. So there is a pin that connects. Although this pin is there in the question, but that is for an anterior tooth. We cannot have this kind of a gap for an anterior tooth. So sanitary facing is eliminated from the options. Then the next one is peril pontic. Peril pontic is a modification of sanitary pontic or hygienic pontic where you have a dome shaped or arc shaped under surface of the pontic. This is to enhance the hygiene or cleanliness maintenance of the patient. Again, it is a custom made pontic and it is not indicated in anterior areas. So that eliminates the answer peril pontic. So the answer, the remaining option is true pontic. Let's have a look at what is true pontic. True pontic has a large gingival bulk as we can see in the image over here, which can be adapted to the ridge. So because these are prefabricated pontics, they have to be adapted to the surface of the ridge and the tooth accordingly. We have to make modifications to these pontics. It has a horizontal tubular slot, this one, running in the center of the lingual surface of the facing. So this goes up to the lingual surface. And it has two proximal slopes or bevels on the either side of the central bulk. Okay. And the slot and the proximal bevel provide retention. It is indicated in cases with limited interlarge distance. And it cannot be used when there is reduced interoclusal distance due to presence of large gingival bulk. So if there is too much of gingival bulk, if there is too much of soft tissue, then this pontic design is contraindicated because this already has a lot of bulk on its under surface. So these are a few points that we need to remember about. True pontic. So coming back to the question, this image is an image of a true pontic.